Welcome back, folks. It's time for another thrilling episode of Jack's Journey to Adequacy. Today, we're teaching our digital dimwit the fine art of basketball. Because nothing says artificial intelligence quite like trying to make a virtual village idiot into the next Michael Jordan. Oh, look at that form. It's like watching a drunk octopus try to operate a catapult. Now, let me explain the rules of our little game. It's a 1v1 showdown with a ball placed center court. Our digital desperados will duke it out for possession. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start simple. We'll keep Jack and the ball in one spot. Even a broken clock is right twice a day. So surely our digital doofers can manage this. And for all you data nerds out there, feast your eyes on this fancy panel. It's like a report card for our AI, but with less parental disappointment. Look at Jack go. He's learning faster than a politician backpedaling after a scandal. But wait. Oh dear, it seems our binary baller has the delicacy of a wrecking ball. Time to dial it back a notch. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Jack, the underachiever, literally. Let's fix that little loophole and retrain for a couple thousand days. Because nothing says efficiency like the lifespan of a redwood tree. Fast forward through a few ice ages and... By Jove, I think he's got it. Time to up the ante. Let's teach him to shoot from different positions. What could possibly go wrong? And we're back to square one. Or should I say, square negative 100. Buckle up, folks. This is going to be a long ride. After tweaking more parameters than a hypochondriac at a pharmacy, we're finally seeing some progress. Remember, viewers, Rome wasn't built in a day, but then again, they didn't have machine learning algorithms, did they? Look at that. Our silicon sharpshooter is starting to live up to his name. Well, the shooter part, at least. The sharp is still up for debate. Now for the piece de resistance, movement and ball grabbing. Let's see if we can teach old Jack some new tricks. Oh, spectacular! It's raining basketballs! Hallelujah! Looks like someone forgot to carry the one in their calculations. Back to the drawing board. After ironing out that little hiccup, let's try again. Jack needs to get in range of the ball first, then shoot. It's like teaching a sloth to play twister. Let's add some swag, shall we? Time to teach Jack the art of dribbling. Because nothing says cool quite like bouncing a ball while running. As Jack's skills improve, we're slowly increasing the difficulty. It's like watching a tadpole evolve into a frog. If the frog was made of ones and zeros and had a questionable grasp of physics. Plot twist. Enter Jill, Jack's digital partner. Or should I say enemy? We've given him Jack's brain as a starting point. It's like a digital hand-me-down, but with less emotional baggage. Oh, look at our dynamic duo. They're like two ships passing in the night. Two very confused, very directionally challenged ships. Back to the training grounds we go. We're teaching Jack to play from the other side of the court to start. Now, let's turn our attention to Jill. It seems our digital gentleman is in distress when it comes to basketball skills. Time for some one-on-one -on -one training. Look at that. Jill's picking up the basics faster than a squirrel on espresso. It's amazing what you can do with a hand-me-down brain and a few hundred thousand iterations. Those numbers are climbing faster than Jack's ego after winning a game of tic-tac-toe against himself. Jill's not just learning, he's evolving! Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. In this corner, weighing in at precisely 1,080,073 bytes, we have Jack. And in the other corner, tipping the scales at a whopping 1,080,072 bytes, we have Jill. Welcome to the Silicon Valley Showdown. First to 20 points wins. May the best algorithm prevail. And they're off. Jack's taking an early lead while Jill seems to be contemplating the existence 
of his digital self. Jack's outmaneuvering Jill and scoring left and right. Five to zero. Now, folks, is this a basketball game or a one-sided demolition derby? Oh, wait. Jill's waking up from his existential crisis. She's blocking. And what's this? Jill's found his mojo. He's sinking shots from the middle of the court like he's trying to prove the earth is flat. Double points, people. Four to six. With Jack still leading, Jill's on fire. Another double pointer. We're all tied up at six, six. Who knew our silicon shooting star had it in him? Ladies and gentlemen, Jill has taken the lead. Nine to six. Jack, buddy, did you forget to defrag this morning? Eleven, six for Jill. Jack, my boy, it might be time to check your RAM for leaks. But wait, what's this? Jack's pushing Jill out of bounds. He scores a double point. Eleven, eight now. I'd cry foul, but our refs seem to be as blind as a bat in a blindfold factory. Jack's making a comeback. It's 11, 10 now. He's like a phoenix, rising from the ashes of his own incompetence. Oh, Jill scores again. 12, 10. This game is tighter than a rusty nut on a corroded boat. It's anybody's game now, folks. Jill's not backing down. He sinks another one. 15, 12 for Jill. Five more points and he'll be crowned the king of this digital court. But Jack's not out yet. He dodges Jill like he's a computer virus and scores. 15, 14 now. Another fair goal by Jack. We're tied at 15. The tension is so thick, you could cut it with a virtual knife. Jack takes the lead, but Jill answers right back. 16, 16. It's like watching a game of ping-pong played by over-caffeinated squirrels. Jack scores again. 17, 16, and again, 18. He's on a roll, folks. A roll right into the halls of AI legend. Oh, my circuits. Jack scores again. 19, 16. One more point, and he'll clinch the victory. He scores. It's over. Jack wins 20, 16. And here it is, from Jack's perspective. Breathtaking, isn't it? It's like peering into the mind of a genius. If that genius had been dropped on its head a few thousand times, well, that was a nail biter. Who knew watching two digital dunces duke it out could be so thrilling? But hold on to your hats, folks, because we're not done yet. Next time, we're upping the ante with a three V3 football showdown. Will our AI athletes fumble their way to victory? Or will they redefine the meaning of own goal? Tune in to find out. Remember, every like and subscribe adds another synapse to Jack's digital brain. At this rate, he might achieve human level intelligence by the heat death of the universe. Until next time, keep those processes cool and your expectations lower.